Hello, hello, hello. We are back on a non-standard day because yesterday I was out with friends and tomorrow I have a friend coming home. So we're doing a Wednesday stream just to confuse everybody. <laughs> um, but hopefully it'll be fun. We have four promo games to showcase today, to showcase today. Um, and they're all cat themed. So that's awesome. I had a vaguely productive day um, in the sense that I got some stuff done. I progressed in um, the Wonderland Nights and unlocked some more story beats. I was quite pleased about. Um, so, yes, today's not been a total loss because I was tired. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yes, today we uh, we have a giveaway for this game that I am. Hey, my bot's awake. Sorry, I'm just really excited. It actually posted. Um, it never does that straight away. That is the first time it's done that in a while. Oh, I'm proud. It seems to have fixed itself. Um, and we have tweet, so I'm just going to update the um, tags so that correct thingy accounts, uh, Twitch accounts are tagged um, because we have the publishers today. Um, oh, and also we are running giveaway so I need to put the giveaway command in there okay so we're starting with midnight is lost um, this is the game that I'm giving away today I only have one game but I'm showcasing four one game to give away but I'm showcasing four I was collecting cat games in this one I happen to have an extra copy of so thank you for the publisher um, for giving me a copy of this game to stream that would be Cubite Interactive. And thank you very much to ID at Xbox uh, for the code for the giveaway. Um, it's hashtag cat uh, if you want to enter for a copy of this game. Um, but you probably want to see a little bit of gameplay first. So let me just tell you about Midnight is Lost. It was developed by Robotizar, Robotizar Games, published by Cubite Interactive. And it came out on the 23rd of February this year, which is 2023, if you're watching the VOD belatedly. Um, it is currently £3.29, or $3.99, so it's not going to break the bank. Um, excuse me. Um, it's a short completion. We'll see how far we get in an hour. If we finish before the hour, that'll be interesting. There are 30 levels to win one of it. Um, yeah, so there are 11 achievements um, and, well, 30, 30 levels associated with achievements. Nothing missable, so I'm assuming you can go back to levels, so that's great. Um, so Midnight is a witch's animal helper. More precisely, a cat does accidentally end up on a mysterious island. So basically a familiar. Now he's lost in a weird world and needs your help to get back home. Before the adventure begins, there is one more thing you must know. Midnight is lost, gives you a unique and challenging experience that needs to be solved backwards. So basically exactly the same as Entropy Center. <laughs> so Jesse and I have had lots of practice on this one. So get ready to burn your brain with this game. I am ready to burn my brain. I'm always ready to burn my brain. My brain is like permanently burnt. Um. <laughs> so, right, I'm going to set. I'm going to switch over. Hello. Um, I'm also following Jesse's stream because he's doing a Zelda um, seed. Sorry, I had to think of the word. Um. And I kind of just like watching the very familiar pattern of the, um, uh, 
right from Hollow Knight. I can word. I'm not very good at wording today, to be fair. I've not been good at wording all week. So I'm going to forget my words. Um, so that's the credits. Robot Song. Uh, settings. Okay, so music sound effect. Oh, that sounds perfect. I'm, I'm good with that. So this is midnight, and midnight is lost. It's got a cat in the oh oh what to hide. Look, he's got a cat in the oh and a little cat in the in the G. God, it's very hard to point when you're yeah. So it's midnight is lost. Um but yes. And I don't know if I said it, but I'll say it, Helene. Um I think I did. Because I came back and you'd said hi. So yes. So this is the game that you can win today. Um Right, so let's have a go. Right, I'm going to set a timer for an hour. We've got four games, so four hours plus a little bit of intro and outro, hopefully. Um, okay, take the hologram to the cat, tracing the path it will take. Okay, hang on, how do I, how do I reset? Because the problem is that it's... Down. Left. Down. Down. Right. Down. It's... Not that it was backwards, it's, just, it's isomorphically sideways, so I'm pressing the arrow in the direction that it is based on me orienting in the thing, and that doesn't quite go. Other controls, inverted or weird, press the LB button or change on pause menu. Okay. Okay. Whoa, okay, right. Checkpoint. I got to a checkpoint. I used a checkpoint. I got an achievement. I, I don't I wanna turn the camera. And that's what's bugging me right now. Um Ah, there's a mini game selector, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what all the menu options are. Okay. So that also alters the, the thing, that's fine. I, I can I can deal with it. So it's down. Oh wait, hang on, no, there was there was a thing that was right. Oh that place the checkpoint. Okay, so I accidentally placed the checkpoint. What I was trying to do was switch the controls over. Um, what I actually did was place a checkpoint. What I really want to do is rotate the damn map so I can see like what that is. That... If that's going to be a problem. Right. Ah. Okay, so we need to go down. 
down. Yay! I thought you could probably do that. So, yeah, I think I'm okay with these controls. Okay, so... So we're gonna come down and push that one and then push that one and then we're done. Okay, so, which means we need to go is that up or right? Right. Down, right, right. Not quite the same as the entropy. I'm just because I'm gonna figure out my left and my right. And the ups and the downs. I don't know what these things are, so... Ah, okay. Take my tummy. Wednesday. Okay. So I need to push the toucan and the cat, the wolf down, the dog across. Try that. Excellent. Oops. Checkpoint and that's it. I'll reset back to that one. I bugger it up again. Um. Okay. How are you, Dan and Milo? How is Dan? How is Milo? I'm just trying to figure out this backwards.
bad brain. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're feeling better though. Understanding the game rules. Okay. So you're just showing me a cake. I fluffed up a few times, but it doesn't seem to care. Understand the controls, but where's the button? Ah, apparently there was something over by that light. Which that really wasn't obvious. I have a great... So maybe I don't understand. So we're going to have to... End up by pushing... Seriously, can we can we just have like forward be forward and what happens if I switch the controls around? Can I have forward be forward and then left be left? Yes, that's better. Because otherwise, I'm just getting confused. Right, forward, down. Yes, that's better. Forward, down. Oh. That's a fence there.
to... I need to meet him a great... Okay, so if he comes... Mm. If I come down... I understand the game. It's understanding the controls that's actually the hardest thing. Maybe if I use the D-pad, that might be better. So I want to see what all the buttons do. That opens that game. Push that one down, push that one across. And we're not going to be able to get beside it. Maybe we don't want the one that opens up the thing, so... I just really want to be able to rotate the map. <laughs> that is the thing that is bugging me the most right now. Nearly right.
I'm assuming I need three on three things. But my cat can't go into the fence or the trees. So how are they supposed to put three on three? So why do the buttons look like cakes? <laughs> um, this is an interactive stream, so please feel free to make suggestions when you, you know, when I'm looking this confused. Uh, <laughs> also, you can enter to win a copy of this game. Um, hashtag cat to enter to win. We are um, showcasing four games today. This is the only one that has a giveaway. Um, Depending on how many people enter, we might let it run slightly longer than this particular section of the stream. Um, at the moment, I'm mostly just getting confused by isometric. And I was like, oh yeah, we did puzzles backwards with entropy. And no, we didn't literally run them backwards. But it's more the I can't decide. Why did that bugger that step up? <laughs> this would hurt your head too. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's a free game. So that was almost there, but yeah, how do I... I can't get round by the fence, so if I just do like... that as a case in point it just gets stuck see if I do try and do something like that just get stuck on the fence or the tree pole So anything I push out the way can't be rescued. Okay. 
Maybe I'll just try pushing the cat one on. <sighs> no. I'm gonna get stuck on whatever this level is. And I've not even got to the not even got to level ten. There's two secret mini games. I mean, I'm sure there's a lovely guide somewhere where someone's done it. But I just would like to understand what it is I'm missing on this particular level. Did you play it, Lady Magritte? Can you give me a hint? <laughs> or I'm being really stupid. It just feels like when you push one of them out of the way, you can't get it back. It doesn't have a pull. When you push. Yeah, I kind of don't want to rage quit. But I'm not seeing how I can push three onto the buttons. Because the cat can't get past, and as soon as, as I said, as soon as I shove one out of the way, just the way the level is made up. Do you remember how you solved it? <laughs> Is it like a hidden button or something? <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not quite sure which level I'm on either. <sighs> Seven, apparently. Ah. There's apparently a mini game somewhere. Possibly on this one.
Ah, I got the mini game. Okay, hit targets but not shoot our dear friend. Okay. Right, so we're doing a mini game because then maybe I'll have an idea of what I was doing in that other one. Did 400. Excellent. Good aim. Okay, I should play an FPS. No, no, I really shouldn't. Okay. All right. So there's another mini game somewhere. Okay. Let's let's now go. So we've randomly found a mini game. Let's go back to the level we were stuck on, which was seven. Go, shove stuff around. You don't shove anything too far. <sighs> that was unnecessarily complicated. Oh dear lord. I have no idea what I was doing there. Probably wandering around randomly. Maybe somehow magically just... Okay, how the hell did I do that? Oh, and the light is the key. That's the bit I missed on the other one. Okay, so apparently I've... Yeah. Don't shove things. <laughs> I need to get them back out again. Yes, indeed. That is correct. Um...
getting distracted by the music. And also, I got an email going, they've got my puzzle! Yay! Right. <sighs> okay. Trying to flip, I flipped the controls back because I'm like, maybe that'll make it easier. Okay, so if we can assume that we need to do this backwards. So that, that button opens that door. Yes, and then that button opens that door. That one was much easier to manage. After the last two weird brain busty ones, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's a cute little game. It kind of looks like it's made out of like pixely Lego. Okay. Oh, that must be level 10. Oh, I did not mean to go that way. Okay, so. No, you silly fool. No, that was not what I was trying to do. Okay. level has the other mini game on I think it's this one which means there's another solution to it
Apparently the button was a thing. Okay, friend is tired and hungry. Apples to the cauldrons without dropping them. Okay. Um, I broke it. It's... Ah. That is hard. I got 20 points. What am I supposed to get? 40! Okay, I can do that. Again, now I know what I'm doing. Come on, give me some apples. I think it broke the game. It's not counting. Okay. It's mainly just because I don't know when it's going to start throwing them. Beginning of the game. Harder than it looks. <sighs> Sigh. I only get 45 seconds? Is that right? Things on fire. That seems very unfair that I only get 40 seconds when it takes forever for the things to start pewinging. Damn it. But anyway, it's a cute game. This mini game is really hard. I thought the shooting game was going to be hard. I get zero.
My god, that was fluky. <sighs> we got the 40. Woohoo. Right, now we've just got, you know, a million two levels. Oh, we solved this one. Hang on. Sorry, it's like I didn't want to miss the mini games. Okay, so. do the side it needs to go down okay so sort of getting the hang of this Screwing up left less on my left and my right and my up and my down. Okay, so down up there. Push that across. Okay, so she says then screwing up on her left and her right. So push that one down. And push that one down. And then come across here, right. Nope. Come on. Down, down, right. Down, right, right, up, right, up, right, up, right. So I think I got all the mini games now, so it's just. 30 levels, which we're not going to reach today because it's nearly, we've got just under 10 minutes left. We can get a few more in at least. Okay, so we need to get to that light switch. Oh, so just push that one down. I have to be right mixed up again. Hang on, let me see if I can. Sometimes I need to switch which way, which controls I'm using, depending on which camera I'm using. Which which where the level is oriented. It's like sometimes it works fine with the, the the controls one way, and sometimes I'm like I have to flip it the other way. Okay, so I need to push the box down and then come around and push it that way.
anyone want to win a copy of this free game? Enter hashtag cat. Why is it all the way zoomed out? It's really hard. There we go. Circle Lead has volunteered as tribute. That's a nice, not, not a bad little game. It's just a wee bit brain breaky. See? It's not bad. Just a tiny wee bit brain breaky with the isometricness. But if you can figure out which way up, down, left, right are, you'll be golden. Okay, so I'm going to push Lion down, go round, and push it across onto the button. Button on the far side. Then I'm going to push Dog down, and go around and push it button on the far side. Got my left and my right's mixed up again. Damn it. Okay, so pushing this. Okay, drop a checkpoint. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. I could do with it not quite... I, I want to have more control over the map. I would like to zoom in some more, please. That is slightly irritating. Okay, so... One would assume that if you push that on that way, then that door is going to open. And then you'd have to then push it back and come around to get to that. Okay, so... Hmm. 
No, okay, hang on. I was like, oh, it's like entropy. You know, you do the puzzles backwards, but no, in entropy you don't. You, you just do the setup backwards. You don't do the entire puzzle backwards. But I seem to be going quite smoothly now. Okay. So, push the blue one all the way to the end, obviously. that That's fine, I get that part. Um, that would be the last step, but... Ah, it'll be a case of which button does which, because I need to come up behind the lion to then push it. Okay. So if we assume that gate is last, we need to push the lion, then push this one more. That's not right. I've just pushed that down the wrong way and it's going to completely screw up. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to move out at the end. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, that, that, that. Mm. You're just making it worse, cat. <laughs> You're just making it worse. Okay, but the time's up, so I don't have to solve this right now. Okay, so we've done 18 out of the 30 levels. I'll finish the rest off, off, off stream. Um, so, yeah, isometric does not go with my brain. It does not mean it's bad. Um... That just means that I have a problem with isometric. Um, we did find both mini games after we went back and looked at which level they were on. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's Midnight is Lost. So yeah, there's a giveaway currently running uh, for a copy of this game. I should let it run a little longer because there's only one entry because uh, Nightbot doesn't count. Fair enough. I mean, it's a short game. Um, once you get your head around literally walking the route backwards. Or you could do what Lady McGree has done and draw it out. I think with that one, that last one, I know exactly how to solve it. I just didn't get the walking bit right. Because effectively you're just loading in commands up, down, left, right. And then it goes through them procedurally, and if it can't do it, it then is blocked and goes on the next one, which is why it was just making that last puzzle really bad. Um, but yeah, cute game. I think it's worth, you know, the three quid, the four dollars. Um, in my mind. So, yeah. We're going to move on to a different cat puzzle. I'm going to do my usual... I'm going to put the end screen up, but it's not the end of the stream. It's just the end of this section. Um, and I will switch over games. So just bear with me for one moment. Um, 
Yes, mental gymnastics, glad it's short. I think that about sums it up. Really would like to move the camera or at least be able to zoom in a little bit um, on some of the levels, I think. And I've got a big TV, um, so yeah. Oh, worth it for the, the money and it's kind of cute, the little pixely Lego type feel. Definitely sort of a innovative solve a puzzle backwards type situation. Um, so, yeah. Right, okay. Ending section. 